Hey guys, it's Matthew here once again, and we ended up hitting some of the most ridiculous ignite damage I've ever seen. So the only ignite damage I've ever seen comparable to this is um, Val Righteous Fire, basically on them busted ass huge ES builds. So the build that we're talking about is of course the Cast on Crit Cyclone Vortex or, you know, cockspin. So a lot of the time we are frostbolt and ball lightning just for clear, but this that you're seeing right now is the pure single target mode of the build. Um, a lot of the time I'm pressing Righteous Fire just for the lols because it creates some insane single target. And uh, a lot of the times I'm not pressing Righteous Fire. It's not that necessary, but my God, does it like double or triple your ignite damage. So those were some examples with Righteous Fire. This will be an example of Shaper without Righteous Fire which as you can see is still fairly adequate but the righteous fire somewhat sustainable and arguably so mostly on softcore let's just say uh seems to be worth pressing most of the time it is dangerous and um can get you killed but if you set it up just right you leech back to full as long as you're attacking things and it most of the time is worth pressing i'm doing it even though it is ridiculously dangerous I mean, it started out as a bit of a novelty just to press it and see the damage and the damage I take, but it ended up being fairly worth doing on most bosses. This of course is the counter to the build, the old does not get ignited boss, and he doesn't get ignited. So you can see the damage even with Righteous Fire, where I would have 20, I actually have 20 million ignite damage, doesn't do anything. So I fucked it up there, I still had Righteous Fire and I was dying a lot. It just doesn't have any damage, and it does feel awful having no ignite damage when you have 20 million ignite damage. That said, the boss isn't too bad if you just run around, uh, dodge his attacks every now and again. Don't even have to dodge most of them, just the explosion. And uh, I quick swap between my ball lightning and frostbolt and vortex every now and again when I feel confident enough to attack him without getting wrecked by adds. It's fairly slow, it is still reliable. It's uh, just a little bit annoying that um, all of our ignite damage does nothing, but that's always been the case here, and it's no real new development or surprise in any case. The other bosses haven't been too much of a challenge either though. This is a Minotaur with I think like 30% more life. I pressed RF, it's kind of really hard to get RF happening against most other bosses except for Shaper, because Shaper really allows you the freedom to pick when you do it and then be relatively safe doing it. The other bosses have a bit too much going on. For Chimera for example, as you could see at the start of the clip, I didn't press RF and you basically never do press RF. It's uh, just too dangerous and not really worth it because you don't need any more than infinite damage against a boss that dies uh, instantly. So this is already infinite damage. And the adds are actually the most dangerous part of the fight because uh, they can insta-gib you with several attacks at once and you are of course melee, you have to spin on top of them. And if you don't get a crit or a proc happening, you might die. Though that is what the cast when damage taken Firestorm is there for. Aside from that, the smoke phase is kind of dangerous for the character too. Occasionally gets you killed. But this character was mostly built just for huge ignites and um, some feels pretty playstyle, as can be seen here in the Uber It series Trash. This is what the character looks like most of the time. I only ever go into Vortex single target for the Guardians, Shaper, and the really big bosses. Otherwise, we are just Ball Lightning, Frost Bolt, and uh, just spinning to win. Feels pretty good. And the ignite damage we do achieve when fully scaled is kind of just stupidly overkill. This is the uh, Uber Vals. As soon as we get a crit, the first one does not exist. The second one, of course, then cannot be ignited, so it's a bit of a struggle to kill him. But with Val Pacts and um, Cloaked in Savagery, it's fairly reliable and consistent. The um, trio... This one was the only one I got a recording of because I only did one run and it went kind of badly because I got attacked by everything at once. That said, the ignites are ridiculous and you definitely don't even need this much. And then of course this last guy, again, ignite immune, which is always fun and not too hard though regardless as long as you have a bleed clearing flask, which we do in the end. And um, yeah, just spin around. The firestorm basically makes you almost unkillable as long as it hits things, and it does quite often. And then at Siri herself, once again, you guessed it, Ignite Immune. Doesn't really matter too much though. Uh, you kind of need to press flasks just to get through her Ignite Immune phases, and then these um, split phases die immediately as soon as you get a crit. And if you haven't noticed, we are using a Dodri's Flask for the 
procking ourselves on savage hit. So you pop the Do Dodri's Flask to savage hit yourself, that triggers your 100% increased leech and also quite a lot of damage. Um, without Righteous Fire, my character has about 6, maybe 7 million ignite. With the savage hit up, it adds a million ignite. So it is a very large damage boost and that's why we pop Dodri's um, whenever we can when we need damage on demand. That's pretty much all the content I wanted to show you for this character. Um, he has been ridiculous for the Ignites, and I do want to show you how I built it, or specifically what it costs to run and uh, what you need, and what kind of mechanics go into getting this level of Ignite, though it will be probably obsolete in the very next patch, 3.0. So since a lot of this character was covered in the previous video and there's not really too much else to explain, I do want to just go over a few of the uh, little intricacies and multipliers that we're using. Um, the rings and all that, there's not too much to mention. You just try and get elemental damage, some cold damage if you can. This ring specifically has 1 to 5 lightning damage so that we do lightning damage to trigger our elemental equilibrium. Um, that is an absolutely huge damage buff for the Ignite. So try and get that going somewhere with lightning damage preferably. Now you do have to wear a Sybil's Lament for quite a lot of content because Reflect will kill you without it, meaning you have added fire damage and that prevents your elemental equilibrium from doing fire, um, negative fire, so your ignites are worse. Uh, so bear that in mind because uh, you do need to replace this thing for boss fights, otherwise your damage is hugely nerfed. But it is completely necessary for the actual clear of the build uh, on maps. Besides that, I will mention the core concept once again of uh, three dragons, and then we're using a Sire of Shards to clear things with Ball Lightning, Crit Strikes, Control Destruction, and Frostbolt, attached to Cast on Crit and Cyclone. That's our main clear, and then a quick swap of X over to this staff over here. Try and get plus three to cold. If you can't, um, lots of spell damage goes a really long way. It scales us hugely, so you don't have to get plus three, but it does help quite a lot. And then that's cast on crit, empower level 4, cyclone, conch effect, vortex, and controlled destruction. You always leave conch effect in because this is only a single target, doesn't matter about clearing whatsoever. Now you can see here the vortex is currently 50,000 damage on average, which is completely huge. You pop out Dodri's, which procs a savage hit, and it goes up to 54,000. So that is pretty nice, but it does double dip because the um, cloaked in savagery gives you 50% increased damage, and uh, that's a large multiplier to your ignite as well as your initial hit. But the importance of it is it lets us leech back up to full and use the safety of Righteous Fire. When you press your Righteous Fire you can see our vortex goes from 50 to 83k and most importantly this is what our ignite DPS is without Righteous Fire, 7.5 million. Completely huge by the way. Um, and then you press Righteous Fire and watch what happens. Boom. 20 million. It's more than double the ignite damage because Righteous Fire is a huge double dipping multiplier to the initial hit and then to the ignite itself. But even without the Righteous Fire, I mean 7.5 million as you could see in the clips was complete overkill in a lot of instances. Uh, another absolutely huge multiplier is Ellie Weakness, which is of course weaker on bosses, but you can see that our two blasphemies, Assassin's Mark and Ellie Weakness, very important for maintaining power charges and the damage we'd lose 3 million um, damage on Ellie Weak by dropping Ellie Weakness. So things like that are quite important for this build. Now besides that, try and get a Wise Oak, cap it to 2 resists if you can, um, a Lightning and Cold so that your clear gets benefited that way from Ball Lightning and Frostbolt. And besides that, there's not too much else to mention from the previous video, I don't think. Yeah, no, that's about it. Um, jewels, I will just say, are fairly important on this build, and that's why we have so many of them. Um, damage, spell damage, area damage, uh, those things are really important for damage in this build, as well as crit multi if you can get it, but just general damage and life are what you really want on your jewels. They increase your damage by a very large amount, so try to get ones similar to these. Uh, besides that, I don't think there's anything else to mention. This character was a lot of fun. He was more of a novelty than a, you know, be-all, end-all, clear-speed character. Level 91, he, you know, got there pretty easily. He was fairly fast, but 
life-based with a berserker, he comes with his own problems as you could imagine, and chances are this build won't be very good in 3.0, so get onto it in the next couple of weeks if you want to see these types of ignites. Besides that guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video, the character, and um, I'll see you next time.